hey, we, uh, despite the road construction and all the issues we've had on this street, we managed to get uh, materials here uh, about two months ago, and we are able to, for the most part, complete our rooftop. So I want to uh, talk a little bit about that process and some of the expenses that, um, that we incurred and um, what we still have left to do to, to finish it. But overall, I think it turned out really good and it looks great. Uh, sitting in uh, one of our rebar chairs that we just had refitted, we had six of these that just got totally destroyed. They're not meant to be in the sun and over the past two years just um, getting thrown around different parts of the, <laughs> the property during construction. They, they totally fell apart, but we paid 450 pesos for each chair you redone and they turned out really good. So I'm sitting in one of our chairs, I'm under uh, cover, under shade with our new roof, and uh, we have a really strong ocean breeze right now, so it feels great. We do have two ceiling fans above us, but we don't even need them right now. It feels so good up here. Still a few projects left to do. The, the faucet is just doesn't quite reach the sink, we believe, so we need to redrill that hole, retile, get a little bit more uh, plumbing work uh, done up here. But, uh, but overall, uh, everything's mostly done. So, uh, so here's some of the costs in the process. Um, the roofing that we use here is the same as we use beside us above our uh, apartment here. And it's a San Miguel is the, the name of the roofing material. You really need to have a good roofer because with the, they have to drill into it to attach the pieces. And if they don't do it right, they can create leaks. And we've had some weeks in the other one we spent months trying to correct. So have a good roofer if you're going to use this, uh, this kind of, I think they call it like a, a tela, this, uh, this type of roofing. Um, so you want somebody who can install that. Uh, you also need uh, a good plumber. You want a good electrician. You want a good tile guy. You know, those are all really important to have. And I think all of those things we have, the only real issues that we've had over um, the last six months is with the roof leaks. We went with these rounded columns up here. I think they just have a nicer look, but you do need to figure out your electrical before you start pouring the cement. So the total cost that we had for this project, we paid about $7,700 to the architect and that included all the materials, the concrete, the rebar, the paneling for the bathroom and the labor. We had another $550 or so for the ceiling fans and the lights and switches that we have up here. We paid $200 for the bathroom door and we have a really good guy that has done all of our, you know, it's, it's like a aluminum, metal, these doors that we have. He paints them and does the install. He actually forgot to put a latch on the inside and he came back out. Uh, a couple weeks after we finished. After I paid him, which is always a concern, he came out, didn't ask any questions, and solved it. So he has a customer for life for doing that. Uh, we had another $225 in electrical parts and labor. And then we spent about $250 for the toilet and the faucet. The sink is repurposed from one of the bathrooms when we originally bought the house. We spent about $175 on paint and Allie and I were the painters here, so we did all of the painting up here, and that's why it, um, well, if it looks good, it's generally Allie did it. If it doesn't look so great, it's because I did it. So and you, if you visit us, you'll know, <laughs> you'll see the parts that I definitely did. Uh, we still have a few things to do. We need to finalize the plumbing, as I mentioned before. Uh, we need to get that hole drilled where the sink is so we can do the faucet. And then we have a place to uh, put a hose so we can water plants up here and we can wash the, uh, the tile up here. And then we have to plumb in the, uh, the toilet. It's ready to go. We just need to finalize it. We also, we reinforced the, the ceiling above the bathroom because we want to add probably in the next year we'll put a tanaka up there just a 450 liter tanaka which is not a lot of water but because of the system that we have here if power goes out we lose all of our water we've never lost power for more than maybe an hour or two hours max and it's probably in the last year happened three times or four times but you know it could happen that one time when somebody really needs to take a shower before they get on a flight or something like that so it's important to have a, an emergency source of water 
Now, if we do lose power for two hours, we can just flip a switch. Well, we can't now, but at some point, hopefully in the near future, we'll get the Sonaco set up. So that's an, uh, an additional expense that we have. We still need to get um, outdoor furniture up here. And we're, we've spent months searching for furniture. There's just not a lot of options. Sam's Club has one thing. We may end up buying that. It's 37,000 pesos or so. So that's like $1,850. And it, it will work fine. It's a little bit higher, more expensive than what we'd like to spend, but that may be what we end up going. And we'll probably in the next two or three weeks pull the trigger either on that or we'll have to find something through most likely Amazon. Uh, we did add some nice lights uh, above around the rooftop in the evening. I put in this fun little um, uh, tiki toss game yesterday. It's just a stupid little game, but it's kind of something fun to do while you're up here. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's nice. Oh, we have the hammer cup here too. So uh, we have possibly. I'm looking around. If we're not. We're def We're probably not the highest point on the street, but we're one of the top, probably two or three uh, highest points on the street. So we have great 360 degree views. And again, you probably will hear through this video because this is on my my phone. The the wind kind of passing through, affecting a little bit of the sound quality. But um, but overall, we're we're happy with how it turned out. We're excited that we finally got it done. This rooftop is brutal to be up here in the daytime without some sort of covering for the shade. Um, and so again, Allie, almost every night, Ali and I are up here for a happy hour. And um, all in, we're less than ten thousand dollars we spent. We have probably, with furniture and the Tanaka and everything else, maybe $2,500 left to go to finish it off. And uh, yeah, we're excited with how it turned out. Hopefully, uh, if you're in the neighborhood, you can come out and have a drink with us up here. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.